Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, the sales and support point for BricsCAD in India. In this CAD Power video, I'm going to show you one of our popular tools called Create Text Along a Curve. It is available under the text tools in CAD Power under creation and can also be called from the command line by typing cp underscore curve text. You need to enter some standard parameters like text offset from curve, text spacing between each character, text spacing between each word and annotation text height. There are also options for creating the curved text at a picked point once or at repeated intervals using the automatic option. So let us choose the first option which is picked point and click OK. Now this works on line, arc, circle, polyline and spline. So first I'm going to try it on the spline. So this spline has got this as the leftmost point as a start point and this right point is the end point. It's important for you to know the start and the end point and the direction in which your curve is flowing because that defines where the position of the text will appear. So based on this direction, the text will appear on the top. So from the start to the end point, when you look in that direction, the text will appear on the top of the curve. So I click a point here, select text for annotation or return to enter a string. So I'm going to press return. So enter annotation string. So you need to write the text that you want to appear on the curve. So I'm going to type design sense software technologies. Okay. So as soon as I typed in that value, you can see that the curved text has already appeared here on the curve. Now there are several options that I can follow. So for example, you can flip it across the curve, reverse the direction, mirror the text or tumble it over or simply exit if all is well. So these are the options that are available for you flip reverse mirror tumble slide front and slide back so let us try the flip option so if i use the flip option you can see that the text has come down on the lower side of the curve so if i flip again it goes to the upper side so it's a toggle which you can keep flipping up or down now there's also an option called mirror so if i say mirror you can see that each character gets mirrored so this is useful for in some cases when people are making some artwork and they want the mirrored text to be printed so that you know it appears in another format in another medium so depending on your requirement there is a mirror option also it type m at the command line and it can just mirror the text similarly there is t t for tumble tumble means upside down so if you just say tumble the text will be upside down so let me show it once again so i'm going to call cat power text creation create text along a curve now to make it clearer i'm going to pick this point which is on the curve so you can see now it, the text is on the curve here so if i type t so it's a tumble option which means the each character get becomes upside down or f is for flip f is for flip and m is for mirror so this command provides you with all these different options by which once the text is placed along a curve you can do the tumble mirror or flip now let us look at the slide option create text along a curve i'm going to click and pick here so you can see that the text has been created now i'm going to use the slide option so if i type s so that is the slide front so when you type slide the entire text will slide along the curve so here it says slide again yes or no so i'm going to keep saying yes so you can see that when you say yes and continuously hit the return or enter key the text slides along the curve so it goes along the curve so you can place it wherever you want and when you are ready and feel that the position is correct you can just press no and exit so your text has now been placed along the curve exactly at the location that you want so in this particular version the slide front has been enabled in the subsequent versions of uh, cat power we will also be implementing the slide back feature as well now there are two more curves here this is an arc and this is a polyline. So like I said in the beginning, you have to make sure that you should know which is the first point and the last point of the curve or the starting point and ending point of the curve. That can be easily found out for polylines using the pedit command which is the first and last. So once you do that, it's easy to understand or anticipate where the text is going to appear. Say for example, I'm going to pick this. So you can see that it's come on top of the curve. Now in the case of arc, it is a bit tricky. So a lot of people use arcs also 
for their work so i'm going to explain this as well in the case of arc it is difficult to tell which is the start point and which is the end point because the arc is defined in a different way internally so what we recommend is that you convert the arc into a polyline so that is done by using the pedit command so you pedit select the arc so turn it into a polyline and say yes once you turn it into polyline you can always use pedit command again and the edit vertex command and you will know which is the first point and last point so if you p edit edit vertex so this is the first point this is the last point so now if i'm going to create the text on this curve it will appear under the because this is the start point so when you look from this point to this point it will come under i must re reverse the direction of the curve so curve text command will work correctly if the polyline direction is reversed so i'm going to use the flip command so you can see flip command is in polyline tools flip reverse direction so polyline flip now i'm going to use the interchange option which means if it is clockwise change it to anti clockwise so i just need to reverse the direction so i select this and say apply so you can see one polyline reverse so now if you do a p edit you can see this is the first point this is the last point so now my direction is correct so once my direction is correct i can go back again to my creation command curve text select this polyline enter and put the text so it's come here now you can do the same thing like flip or move or whatever we have multiple options in this command and there are some more options planned for the future as well we have made some changes in v21.12 so please try it out after you download it today Okay, so I hope you liked this video. Please let me know if you have any feedback or if you have any suggestions to improve this command.